lost in Cancun and all I see is tattoo shops. <laughs> we'll find this place. Hola amigos and amigas, my name is Frank. Welcome back to Sundays on channel 33 RPM. Obviously, we are not in the music room today. We are here in beautiful Cancun, Mexico. My family and I decided to hit eject on the snow. We got tired of the cold weather and we caught a last minute flight down here to Mexico. Now, you know me, I like to use every family vacation as an opportunity to look for music and records and this one is no exception. I got a couple places I want to check out beginning with the Cancun flea market. Market. Check it out. Okay guys, we made it to the flea market. It's right here behind me. I don't know if we'll find anything, but come along with me as we check it out. So we didn't find any records in that shop. It was the first stop though. I'm not getting discouraged. Let's keep looking in this market and elsewhere to see what else there is to see. What do you think, Wynn? Mm. Hola, gracias. Ah, gracias. Shopping? Can I show my shop? Uh, gracias. Man, I gotta say, these sellers are aggressive. They try to wear you out after a while, but I'm tougher than that. Uh, no gracias. Oh, we'll come back, thank you. It's my most popular word here, no gracias. No gracias. Hey guys, we're still looking around. We haven't given up. We haven't found a lot more music or records, but one thing I do want to find before I leave is one of those Mexican skulls. Hey everybody. Cheers, buddy. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. I didn't find any records, but I did find uh, the Mexican skull, which is kind of cool. I did want to get that. So we're chilling out, heading out here, and uh, going somewhere else. We're not done yet. Gracias. Bye. Happy day. You too, thank you. Okay, we said we're out of here. I had to buy that one other skull. Sherry, you ready? I'm ready. Okay guys, we're in the Plaza de los American and we found a music store. It's right here. Wish me luck. Okay guys, I'm out of the store. I got a bag of stuff here. I bought three records and three CDs. Came to a thousand pesos, which is about $60 Canadian or $50 or so US. Nothing super rare or anything, but some really good deals and some really cool stuff. I'll show you that when I get back to Canada. Now to enjoy the rest of Mexico with my family, do some swimming, a whole bunch of other fun stuff. See you back in the music room. Okay guys, I'm back in a more familiar setting. I'm back in the music room, back in the deep freeze, but you know, it's February, winter's almost over, so what the heck. I'm gonna show you what I got. I got some music, as I said there, but first I, sh I, wanna, I want to show you a couple things I picked up at that flea market. They have these all over the place, and they're all apparently hand-painted. For all I know, the skull itself is made in, in China. I don't know, but apparently, they're all telling me anyway, uh, if you believe that these were hand-painted in Mexico. So I got this one, this one was, uh, I got it for 180 pesos and I will leave some conversion numbers below this video. 
And then I wasn't gonna get another one, but I came across this guy towards the end of the flea market with these um, hand-carved ones. And I, I absolutely loved this particular skull. I thought that was super cool, so I had to grab these. As you saw, the flea market was huge, and of course the sellers are pretty aggressive, but there was only one sort of booth area or store I could find in there that had records, and those were the, those, were those ones that you saw me flipping through. There's a couple boxes. I was going through pretty quick. The records mostly, many, many of them have been damaged uh, with humidity and water over time, so uh, I really didn't find anything worth getting there, and the, uh, the dog just came down. Henrix, go to sleep. So in the mall store, that was actually kind of cool, mixed up is pretty big and they had a lot of selection the prices were really reasonable I got a few records but first I want to show you the CDs and these were all uh, manufactured in Mexico this is the Scorpions of their 2015 album Return Forever. I haven't heard this one, but I've been getting into some of the uh, 2000s Scorpion stuff. So I picked this one up for 92 pesos, 92 pesos. And then they had a bunch of really odd, um, <laughs> these can't be very official. I don't know what to call these, but look at this CD. Grand Hits, Originals, Black Sabbath. This is a repackaging, a really bizarre repackaging of the Black Sabbath debut. But you know me, I love the odd stuff. I love the weird stuff. And this was cheap. This particular CD right there was 52 pesos. And similarly priced, this one was also 52 pesos. This is Led Zeppelin, and it's just called Greatest <laughs> greatest Hits, which is kind of bizarre, because this is a repackaging of In Through the Outdoor with, again, some really uh, bizarre typos. So, for example, track number three is the song here called I Am Gonna Growl. I'm not sure what growl means, but this was odd enough for me to pick up. They had a decent selection of vinyl there. These were priced probably cheaper than I could have found um, a couple of these in Canada anyway. This was actually a Record Store Day release this past Record Store Day. It's the uh, Jimi Hendrix Experience Smash Hits. Now I do have the original version of this which came with some different cover art. I will put the original one right here just to show you. This, um, so these records, they're the, the standard pressings you see anywhere. Rick's is playing with a squeeze toy. Uh, this is Iron Maiden, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. This is from the recent reissues. It says in the back here, imported to Mexico. But it's 291 pesos, which if you convert that, again, I'll do that at the bottom of the screen. This is the first of the reissues I get, and I do have an original copy of this. I bought probably the week it came out, way back in 1988. But I wanted to try one of the reissues, and they had all of them there, so I picked that one. And this is one my wife really wanted. It is Return of the Jedi, original motion picture soundtrack, and this one is on limited edition gold vinyl. This one, we actually paid a bit more. It's cheaper on Amazon. This cost 460 pesos, and I saw it on Amazon for, I think, 25 or $30 uh, Canadian. Nonetheless, it's a souvenir of Mexico. My wife really wanted it, so I'm happy to have it. Okay, 33 years, it's your time. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of today's episode. Do you go record shopping when you're on vacation? I always try to because you never know what you're going to find. Remember, if you enjoyed today's episode, to leave a quick like. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that button. All that good stuff. Guys, have a fantastic week. Until next time, keep on spinning.